Welcome back to another Unturned video. Today, Solo joined the Rustern server, which we played on some time ago, but unfortunately, everything had wiped, so I had to restart from basically nothing. This video is also split into two parts, and if you guys want the next episode, where in that one we continue with a ton more PvP and raids, let me know in the comment section below. Make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 300 likes. Subscribe if you haven't already, a huge percentage of you guys watching right now are not yet subscribed. Last video, I announced a mythical giveaway, and this is the winner. To claim a prize, make sure to join my Discord and contact me there. Where there we hold even more giveaways, so feel free to join. Today, we're going to roll another one, and it's a lovely first fall timberwolf to enter this giveaway make sure you've liked subscribed and comment whatever you want below members who comment also have a higher chance to win and i want to give them all a huge shout out for their support as well as member gifters and without wasting any more time let's get straight into the video Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are rejoining the same server we have played on some time ago, but I think, yeah, the server has actually wiped. There are a ton of players on the server as well, there's a bunch of bots, there's a four-man team, there's a bunch of trios as well. Alright, well, we're going to play solo though. Now, there's a kit starter which should give me a bow and some arrows, a pickaxe and an axe. Nothing that good, but at least it's a better than nothing. Alright, so I spawned over here now. Somewhere that is very good for loot is the subway. So I am going to build a base very close to there. Also, I'm pretty sure very close to the subway there's a recycler. And that is something that we are going to need literally all the time. Now, since there are a lot of players on the server as well, I'm going to assume that there will be a lot of PvP around the subway. Eventually, I will need to build the base. And after that, upgraded, get myself pretty much all of the key cards. Go to the red key card, get myself a gas mask as well. And eventually get into some base raids too. I'm already finding bases literally everywhere. And there is a gas station light right over here. I'm gonna break as much barrels as possible, pick up the components, and we'll salvage them inside the recycler. Now something that I will need are tarps and suture kits. And there's already a bunch of scrap. I'm gonna take the high quality. I guess somebody forgot them over here. Or they died or something. I don't know. It's mine now. Alright, we'll put all of these items in there. We'll punch it. And I accidentally turned it off. Alright, let's get ourselves some key cards. If we get the red one already, that would be perfect. Yes, sir, red one. Alright, we got ourselves a shirt. Let's go. I'm gonna put the red key card in my vault. I don't want to lose that. I am going to stack the high quality. There were 22, which is quite a nice number. I got myself a python revolver. Let's go. I'm gonna take the clot. We can make ourselves a bedroll with that. I'm gonna take all of this metal on the floor, so... Alright, let's stack them up. Now, we can probably already build a base. Alright, so I'm gonna get as much wood as possible. Before we start building the base, we're gonna need a building plan. And later on, a, a hammer. We're gonna need a two cupboard. It takes 40 wood for a two cupboard, so our base doesn't despawn literally in the first five seconds. Later on, we're gonna need to start stacking on scrap as well, because I will want to make C4 blueprints. Now, I think this is a good area to actually start building the base. Maybe for now, I will build a small one and... And then later on we can build a secondary base. We will have two separate beds. Just for now I need somewhere to store all of my loads. Let's make ourselves a couple of pillars as well. Alright, next we'll do some walls. And then we need a doorway obviously. And now all we need are just two roofs. And our base would be pretty much done. All we need now is a tool cupboard and to upgrade the base. Because right now with Twig, literally, you can get your base raided just by getting punched. Right, let's make a door. Get ourselves a hammer too. And we gotta click on every single item, including the pillars, and upgrade them all. Alright, well, the walls are pretty much almost all done. Let's go. Let's do the floors. And, okay. Well, my base decayed. Uh, maybe the first thing I should actually do is do a two cupboard. This happened to me last time as well. I just completely forgot that it's this quick that your base gets decayed. Well, we gotta start stacking on logs once again then. Alright, so I should have more than enough now. Yes, sir. Two cupboard. I'll right, place that there before we continue building. Now I need to redo the pillars as well. Pretty much I need to redo the items that I did not manage to upgrade. But now they shouldn't despawn. Alright, we'll put a floor there as well. Now what we need next is a roof. There we go, bam. Right, let's upgrade this bad boy. Floor. Alright, now let's start doing the pillars. Alright, got myself a bed. Let's claim that. Alright, so next I'm going to go continue farming more wood. I still need to upgrade some of the pillars and we still gotta make ourselves some storage. Alright, 20 more logs. Let's go. Oh, listen, I listen. Oh, wait, hello there. It's me, it's me. Look, take this. Oh, it's Andrew Tate. Okay, well, Andrew Tate is giving me a, a bunch of components. I have no idea who this man is. Alright, well, um, I don't know why he's giving me all of these items. I will take them, though, definitely. Giving me lockers and storage, mostly, and a ton of some components. Oh, well, that was kind of unexpected. Usually, you don't find friendly players on these kind of servers, especially on Turned. Alright, well, I'm gonna go put these in my base. We can start upgrading it to high quality as well, actually. Well, what's a nice lad. Alright, well, I pretty much placed all of the storage that I have, even though I still have way more and I don't have space in my base. So, probably, it's already time to start upgrading and making, or, may or maybe even making a second base. Yeah, <laughs> my base is extremely cramped up, man. Look at this. I still have to put so much. He even gave me a tool cupboard. I'm gonna put them in here for now and then later on maybe when we get to build our second base 
We will use them. Alright, maybe I can make stairs, actually. Well, I think I just ruined everything, to be honest. Yeah, we, we definitely can't build them because the high external walls. And I don't think we can salvage them. Yeah, it's not letting me salvage. Well, do I need to demolish them or something? Where's my hammer? Oh, it's not letting... Okay, well, it's not actually selecting and I demolished the wall. Nice, I cannot demolish these high external walls. Well, I wish I knew that before. Now, we probably can't build, yeah, because the external wall is in the way. Let's go. Alright, well, it's already time to start building the second base, then. Well, for now, I'm gonna build it right next to it. It's gonna be a two bite, so hopefully, I have enough wood. But I probably need to go and farm more, to be honest. Oh, well, at least I had enough for walls. Now, something in Ross turned is that if we do demolish something, and I made the hole by mistake, if we do demolish something, we don't get the resources back, which is something that I'm not really a fan of. Oh, yeah, we gotta get ourselves more wood. Yeah, it doesn't let me salvage. I need a hammer for that, and it's in my base, I think. All right, let's pick up the rest of these logs. All right, a bit of an unexpected start, to be honest. I didn't think that we're gonna have to rebuild our base for the third time, but it's better this way than to get ourselves a ton of loot and we wouldn't have anywhere to store them. And I hear... LR is extremely close. Right, we gotta build this quickly then. Alright, so base is pretty much done. I have used the high quality metal as well. Currently just upgrading the pillars. Alright, that's one already upgraded. And then we start moving the storage inside this base. Alright, and base should be pretty much done. Alright, this is the final pillar, and it's done. Let's go. Alright, so the inside of the base is also done. I have pretty much moved everything from the old one to this one. Now it's time to start going out there, grinding, getting some PvP, and hopefully not lose everything. Alright, currently doing a subway run, hopefully. We're gonna get ourselves some good loot. Hopefully it's not already looted, because down here, me personally, I think it's the best area to get elite crates. But in elite crates, you can pretty much get everything. Alright, well, we got ourselves a green key card and a blue key card. I'm gonna pick up all of these items so that we can salvage them, get ourselves more high quality metal and normal metal. Or right, somebody down here, I'll create MP5 perfect. And he's right over there, he's killing zombies. I'm gonna put the forex scope, literally, I doesn't matter, but for more storage. All right, hopefully he doesn't know about me. I think his gun is a custom SMG, right? Where did he go? Wait, where did he go? Oh, he's over there. Oh, I killed him. Oh, wait, what was that? Oh, yeah, he has a SAR, custom SMG, a bunch of components, salvage pickaxe, a better axe, rope. All right, let's go. All right, I'm full of load, so I'm gonna do home. Oh, we got ourselves a couple of guns. Let's go. I'm happy with that, actually. All right, well, I'm gonna go to the recycler. Get ourselves a better coffee helmet. So I'm gonna put items that I don't want to recycle here. Get ourselves another locker, which we don't have space for, kind of. We probably will need to do our second floor as well. We put the logs there, the scrap, tech trash. We're going to need those in order to craft ourselves C4 later on. Put the helmet there as well. All right, well, the problem is that I can't craft ammo. I would need the blueprint for that. In order to get the blueprint for that, we need to find the 556 ammo or pistol ammo. Alright, well, there is a bunch of scrap here. I'm gonna put all of the SMG bodies in there. Alright, we need to turn it on. I'm gonna pick the high-quality metal, obviously. Alright, and we're done from here. Let's go. Alright, well, I'm dead. Let's go. Alright, that's okay. We just lost a weapon. Uh, the Thompson doesn't even have ammo. The pistol at least does. Alright, well, we're back in the subway for another loot run. But I think it's actually already been looted. I can't find any loot crates anyway. Yeah, there's loot on the floor too. At least a custom SMG. Alright, that's better than nothing. At least we have ourselves a weapon that's better than a bow. Subways are actually quite long, man. It takes me like 10 minutes to loot the whole area. Alright, I'm still breaking these smaller military crates because look, you can get like a salvaged axe and all of that. Which is pretty good and there's always a ton of components. There are logs on the floor there. I think someone's down here. Yeah, there's a lot of loot on the floor. Recent oh, there's a guy right over there. I don't know if you saw me. Oh, he took a gun out, so he probably heard me. Oh, he's so low. Come back here, bro. Oh, he's dead, let's go. Oh, my guy has a Thompson, some shotgun ammo, nothing else. He doesn't really have anything. And there's only 10 bullets remain. We need to find ourselves pistol magazines, man. We gotta research that really, really soon. Alright, boys, back in base, got myself some components, a couple of guns, an L gun, which I don't think if we recycle it, we get anything, so that's just going to go to despawn. Got ourselves another vest as well, which is a road sign jacket, salvaged axe. And right, let's go and recycle them. Got ourselves a landmine, too. So I'll place that somewhere close to my base. Maybe some idiot will run up into it. It. it would be kind of funny. Oh, there's a guy in here. He's dead. My guy has 30 logs, a double barrel shotgun, some items we can recycle. All right, well, I'm gonna take all of the scrap. If you guys didn't know on the server, by the way, if you press coma on your keyboard, everything that is inside the recycler will go automatically on your inventory. Obviously, it depends if you have enough storage. All right, put all of these, all of the fuses, the SMG bodies. I'm gonna start picking up the scrap metal, obviously, because we gotta start researching some important items. Got ourselves 100 scrap. Let's go. That's pretty good. I'll take the high quality, the 10 times scrap, and let's go back. 
back to base. Alright, so I'm back in base. I made myself some changes. Basically, I did an airlock here. That way, if I am about to get door camped or something like that, they wouldn't actually answer. I right, upgraded that to high quality metal as well. I'm trying to have the whole base like that. That way, it actually will be stronger. Now, in this airlock later on, I might actually do it a staircase to the second floor. We'll see about that later, though. I have some big plans for this base, to be honest. Alright, gamers back for another subway run. Now, hopefully, all of the LED crates have not been looted yet, because if they aren't, we're gonna get ourselves quite a ton of loot. But it seems like they already are, as always, to be honest. Alright, so I'm done from the loot run. What I got was an explosive armor door and the Bolti and the custom SMG, which is not too bad. The armor door can be very useful if we make blueprints. And the Bolti, you know, is, uh, is a pretty decent sniper. Oh, well, there's a ton of scrap here already. It's like 80 scrap already. There's actually quite a ton, goddamn. We've got over 150 scrap, 200 scrap. I think that's enough to even do an armored door blueprint. Right, we're gonna make ourselves the first blueprint armored door. Let's go. Progress. So my next idea is we're going to go to... And I hear double barrel shotgun. Somebody just died very, very close to me. But yeah, my next idea is to go to the airport. I'm going to need oil in order to make myself some furnaces in base. And in order to do that, we're gonna have to go to the airport. Now, I also did get myself a blue key card with me so that we can enter inside. And there are, there are a couple of loot crates. Hopefully, we get ourselves something good from there. Now, with these furnaces, basically, if you guys don't know, they're used in order to smelt ore such as iron, high quality, sulfur, all of that. So we're going to need that eventually. Oh, there's a guy going inside the hangar, actually. I'm gonna go behind him. Hopefully he didn't see me. I hear a chainsaw. I think it's him, actually. Because chainsaws in this mode are, are loud for some reason. Right, let's try to find him. Oh, he's right here. I see him jumping. Hello. Bro. What? Alright, well, I don't know what's going on with the server. Oh, he has some oil as well, actually. I think it's because there are literally like 80 people around. Alright, well, we did get the oil. That's exactly what we came here for, but we obviously need more. We need literally eight just in order to make one furnace. I got myself the blue key card. We're gonna go in there right now. Hopefully, they're still not looted. Alright, let's go. Now, give me a blue key card in return as well. A Bolty Thompson, three pipes. Let's go. That's pretty good. And... Uh, Salvage decks and some SMG bodies. What is that? Another Bolti. Right, well, I was kind of hoping for an LR or an AK, to be honest, because we still don't have one, but that's okay. All right, we're gonna pick up some components as well. We're gonna take this crude oil for sure. I have no space. Some more SMG bodies. Yeah, I'm out of storage, actually. We could drop that Thompson. All right, so now we can exit. Now, key cards are only used once, by the way. Once to enter and once to leave. But yeah, let's go get ourselves some oil next. Alright, so I'm back on myself. Quite a ton of oil. Next, I need to get myself some stone. And right, we got ourselves a furnace. Let's go. Now, I'll put these in there. Uh, we also will need ourselves some logs in order to smelt them, obviously. Now, for some reason, we would need to put the logs as separate rather than stacks. Because they will just literally turn into charcoal. And we don't want that. We want them to burn the metal, basically. So now they should start turning to metal fragments. Yeah, they are. Well, there's a guy coming very, very close. He seems geared. He's dead. Okay, yeah, he's actually very geared. My guy has a backpack tiered, so night vision. Gauss mask, that's exactly what I needed. I was literally searching for traps to make myself the gauss mask so we can go in the red room. Oh, we're back in- Oh my god. Got ourselves a fully decked out alar as well. Oh, that's exactly what I needed to do. <laughs> it's full 100% so I'm gonna put them here for now. All right, gentlemen, that means that we can now go inside the red key card area. Let's go. Well, alright everybody, that's going to be it for this episode. I really hope you enjoyed. Now, there will be another one where we will continue. It gets even more intense. We get to do more raids and uh, even more PvP. So, I hope that you guys did enjoy. If you guys do want to play on the server, IP and port will be in the description below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!